So how does the Jeep Gladiator do in heavy fog? Well, good morning, everybody. How are you today? Pretty froggy here, or foggy as the case may be, I guess. We're coming at you live from the jungles of deep south Texas in the RGV. Uh, it's a foggy day this morning, and I wanted to do a little test in the Jeep Gladiator. We're going to take it for a ride, go out into the deep fog, and see how the fog lights work. Now, it is light out here, so to be honest, I don't expect a big difference. But then again, I've never done it in the Jeep Gladiator. So we're gonna go for a ride. We're gonna take a cruise around in the fog and see indeed if they make any difference whatsoever. I'd be surprised. <laughs> here this is actually much worse than I thought uh, visibility is uh, <laughs> pretty slim Wow uh, you know not being overly familiar with the area here uh, I could actually get lost out here driving around in this this may be the heaviest fog uh, I may ever have driven in check this out I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna turn. Man, you can't, there's a car with its flashers on. Man, this is, uh, this is pretty stout. I haven't been in this kind of fog in maybe ever. Check this out. You guys are seeing, and I'm not sure what the camera's focusing on, but, oh, and there's somebody walking out here. Oh, that's not wise. They're dressed in black and they're walking around in the fog. Wow. This is uh, this is quite something. Okay, we're gonna hit the fog lights. I don't know if it's gonna make any difference. Yeah, we've hit the fog lights. I don't know if you guys can see, uh, but I got to say, I don't think they really make any difference. And it's because it's light outside, I think. Uh, if it wasn't light out, uh, they might make somewhat of a difference. I don't know. Let's continue on here. And I don't know if the camera's doing this justice or not. I think it is. But, man, it is... Uh, it's pretty bad. Okay, there's a road. I hope people are stopping. Uh, I've only seen a couple of vehicles on the road so far. Uh, one of them had their lights. There's another coming off to the left. I don't know if you guys can see it there. Let me, I'm going to change cam camera angles for you. Uh, here we go. There, that's going to give you, I got to come out a little bit. There you go, that's gonna give you a little bit better vantage, I guess. Keep getting missed on the windshield. That's gonna give you a little bit better vantage, I think, of what I'm seeing out here. But I know this is just fog. I mean, it's not like, you know, it's raining nails or anything, but man, it uh, it is, amazing now the one thing i will say you know we have the jeep of course with its more straight up uh windshield and it does seem to catch the mist a little bit quicker if you will i mean it's not like you know it's 
some kind of moisture magnet, but it does seem to catch and, and cling on there a little bit, uh, a little bit quicker than I can remember, at least in years past, uh, from the more slanted windshields, if that makes any sense. All right, we're gonna take a road here that I'm really not familiar with, just to kind of get an idea, maybe more of what the fog is like. Uh, I'm not sure where this goes. I think, I think we'll take a left here. Wow. Amazing. You know, I guess when they said there is a dense fog advisory, they really weren't kidding. Certainly a dense fog advisory. Let's, uh, I think we're in a pretty, pretty foggy area right here. Uh, let's hit those lights again. Okay, here we go. Yeah, you really, I mean, you, it, you don't really get anything out of it, to be honest. So, uh, fog lights don't do anything in the broad daylight. And I'm not really surprised. I mean, it is light outside for what it is. Um, okay, I'm going to get into a little different area and we'll come back on. Continuing uh, our journey here through the fog. Taking another side road in a subdivision here. Um, I just hope nobody backs out into me or pulls out. I hope people are paying attention. You know, that's the one thing with having a uh, Gobi colored Jeep, I guess. Kind of blends in in this kind of weather into the surroundings. So. I guess it would be good camo in uh, really foggy conditions. Of course, I do have the lights on. It would be insane to drive around without the lights on in this kind of fog. Let's see, looks like we're gonna curve here. Yeah, okay. By the way, temperature here is 64 degrees. Um, that's why we've got the fog. There's a ton of moisture in the air, obviously. And <laughs> I think humidity is probably about 100% right now, I, I would think. Okay. And I think, uh, yeah, the road continues. You know, some of these roads here, they kind of just stop. And <laughs> if you're not paying attention, you might find yourself in a field and right up ahead of me there, again, I'd still say about probably 20, 25 feet, something like that, uh, the division just disappears. You're really just looking into a wall of moisture. There you go, there's some people coming out with a settling tank, it looks like. Something to clean a pool with, I don't know. And it doesn't help, right when the sun starts to come up and it gets brighter outside, this fog gets even thicker. Okay, we're gonna head this way, Let's see where we end up. Oh, there's a nice little pocket. Let's get some windshield action here. Hey, we've made it back home. Uh, I gotta say, I haven't driven in conditions like that Man, I bet you it's been 20 plus years where I've been in this kind of fog. Now, keep in mind, I am in a different area. I used to live up in Ohio and we didn't get, you know, we got fog, but we didn't get uh, this thick, dense stuff like you get down here in the ultra humid weather, right? Again, I'm down in South Texas in the Rio Grande Valley and it gets quite uh, extreme down here. And it's kind of the way the weather is, you know, it gets extremely hot in the right season. Um, extremely wet, uh, when you get a hurricane or something or a tropical depression, uh, which I've experienced, I think two or three times now in two years since I've been here, we've had, uh, one hurricane, uh, that grazed us. It was a cat two, I believe. Um, we had a tropical depression or tropical storm that kind of sat on the area and gave us more rain than I've ever seen. We got, I think it was 14 inches of rain in uh, less than a 24 hour period. That was insane. Uh, and now this uh, 
this really dense fog. I'll be very interested to watch this video back myself and see just uh, just how the camera picked it up. I can see the fog rolling across the front of the truck right now. Um, pretty cool. It's like one of those vampire movies, you know, where they cut to the castle and and they've got the fog rolling across. Of course, it's smoke in that case, but uh, right now it, it is fog. Anyway, the whole point of the video, I just kind of got taken away with the density of the fog, I guess, uh, was to kind of test out the fog lights. Why not? Mother Nature uh, provided us an opportunity uh, with this heavy fog to, to go out and drive around and see if fog lights make any difference. Uh, I got to say, I'm not quite sure why they call them fog lights. Um, they didn't do anything. Maybe it's more for visibility for cars coming on. I don't think so. That's kind of what your headlights are for, right? Um, at night, of course, if it's foggy and you turn your fog lights on, uh, you do get a little bit better visibility down at the road level in front of you. But of course, we all know what happens when you turn your lights on in the fog, right? The, the, the light obviously reflects off of the water droplets in the air and kind of creates a wall in front of you if you go too high. It's the densest fog I've ever seen here. So I just thought I'd show you guys do a crazy little test with the fog lights. Frankly, I'm not surprised. I didn't really expect in daylight them to do anything. And uh, I was right. They didn't do anything. So leave a comment. Let me know. You ever had any trouble in dense fog? Do you even get any fog where you're at? I know everywhere gets it, but I've never seen it as thick as it is here. Also, real quick, if you're interested, Check out my other channel. It is Rob Motive, all about my 2020 Toyota Tacoma. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Stay safe out there. Bye.